to release an anointing on as many as possible today. I'm in a very good mood. How many of you were very young when you used to watch me on TV? There's a gentleman here who made it possible. Over 30 years ago, there was a gentleman who saw the vision of putting me on TV. He paid for me to be on BBC4, or the first black person in the UK who went to BBC4 to do programs. This is put me on. And then, I was also the first preacher to be on Metro TV. How many of you were watching the movie of Red Little on Metro TV? The gentleman who paid for me to be on TV coincidentally has joined me here, so the Ben Smith come. Ben Smith served as an analyst for the Duchess. The Citibank, tell us some of the banks. Citibank, JP Morgan, Deutsche Bank, and it goes on. Wow. He was in Great Britain. He was also the first person who bought me a Jaguar. Wow. And then I'm happy you are here. Before I even minister, if there's anything I want to release for you, I want to behave to you like the Bible say, maybe silver and gold would I not give you. Somebody stand behind him. Stand, just stand and hold my hands. I release to you an anointing for those things you did. Because, open your eyes, Ben Smith, because of that sacrifice you did, many young men and women today have benefited. Receive it. People like Sonny Badu and Eden are the ones and but are the ones who will always remember Ben Smith. And yes, still he still humble. Bless you. Take that anointing. Oh. Let it be yours for the faith. May God bless you. <laughs> then we have the vice, a man who served as the vice chancellor of the University of Mines and Technology. One of my biggest confidants and backbone. For serving as the vice chancellor, he will invite presidents and he will make sure in their brochure my picture is there. How he can do that through all his time as a vice chancellor of the University of Mines and Technology and still serve beats me. Professor Jericho. The beauty of it too is that Professor Jerry Kuma also ended up as the president of all vice presidents in Ghana. Oh, sorry, vice chancellors in Ghana. And also for Professor Edu, he was serving in that capacity and he never missed his fate once. I'll travel to Pakwa, there was a time myself, President Kufu, and the team, President Domama, President Nanado, everybody, the team, invite everybody, whoever he invited, make sure Lawrence Tete is part of the program. Professor John Kuma. Thank you. Bless you. Somebody stand behind me. I stand before this congregation and I release unto you an anointing. May you receive it. May it be yours for the day. You don't understand what I'm doing now. What I'm doing now is something prophetic that God has laid. Just let it come, good so Just sit down. Something prophetic God has laid on my heart. When you anoint people publicly, you establish them publicly. 
That is what I intend to do today. So everybody come. I know you have been bashed in the past few months. <laughs> but I want you to know it's the beginning of your ministry. What you said, you shouldn't have said. What you did, you shouldn't have done. It's all part of ministry. God didn't use angels. He used human beings. And the human beings made mistakes. And yet still, in the midst of their mistake, also for coffee, God used them. And yet, and I want to encourage you, that nonsense where Ghanaians will kill people's ministry, don't allow your ministry to be killed. Yeah. And any given time that you might even make that, you may say, I want to know you, yeah, some of the things, don't be saying it. That nonsense must stop. But truly, some of the things you say, it gets you into trouble. Some of the things, yes. Now, sir, not so this yummy. That near Indian or this yummy, a baby one with the free baby now with the bad. But I believe where God is taking you to, don't relent. There is something on you that is not usual, it is unusual. Trust me, and I tell you, don't see yourself as a boy anymore. You're a man. That's why I call you man. I still remember in Atlanta, the woman who came and said she's had things in her stomach for years and that she breathed on her and it's in God lost. I still remember. I still remember like yesterday when you came to the hotel, you came with that couple whose manhood was not working. They said, you prayed for him and the manhood came back. And I said, that transference you got from me, me too, I got it from someone. I pray over your life that that gift God has embedded on you. And I know you, you even like the passion of preaching now and the singing. But you have both. Would you, and God gave you a gift that even when you sing, people get you. I'll say this anywhere and everywhere. How much will somebody pay me? In many cases, if anybody has stolen all my dresses and socks and things on the back, I'm you. But then we were in uh, New York. Oh, no, in New York. They loved it. We're in New York. And Sonny had taken my things. I was going to wash them. And when it abandoned, I would say, Oh my God. Oh my God, it's anointing. Sonny, with all this anointing, he washes for you. I say, God, yeah, Junior, yeah, Junior, yeah, Junior, yeah, Junior, yeah, Junior, yeah, Junior. I couldn't tell. And when the Tabana was very excited, oh my God, we don't have this in America. We don't have this in America. That's why the Bible is going to watch for Lawrence City. And I'm saying, I had no air yeah, to do. To me, something will get lost. And in the evening, a man called me, so Sonny said, he's at the airport. Where am I? So the thing is gone with it. So when Sonny says he's going to wash the thing, wash it. But the thing I love about you is that you are like the proverbial David. I stand with you today, son. I say where we miss, we should not miss. Where we fail, we should not fail. Where we stop, you must, you should not stop. If ever there is a place where we did what we shouldn't have done, we shouldn't do. And every area that we succeeded, I release you. Oh. Release you. Release you. What do I say of Brian? Let's have a coffee or drink. Brian is a mafia. <laughs> yeah. To the end, make it can in your hand. You know, these two boys, they come to my house what time of the night? Three <laughs> hours. When, when my bell rings and the security man says somebody is looking for me, the person is from London, I just can't tell. It's either Brian or Sunday. They don't come before 1 a.m., they come midnight. And that midnight is an agenda. But there's something about them that is unique, they are sweet. Right? 
father-in-law, his wife's father, and I will share the same bed. Alex JC. His father will, like me, I want some of the few people who happen to go to Beckham Palace and things. And he married Alex JC's daughter, who is my daughter. God has given him a door. Trust me, some of you have not seen anything else. Sonny and Brian, they have an invention. In fact, Amen, join them. Amen to his like that. I am a This guy's an invention. In and I want you to know this. What God is using you to do, you have not seen anything yet. For those of you who don't know, me, I can say that one. In this program on Friday, President uh, John Mama will come here. <laughs> They will come. We will call them to come. And this Friday too, President Mao Baumian will also come. If they like, they shouldn't come. Before the end of this program, all of them will come. Do you want them to come? In fact, if they don't come to this program, they are not smart. These are the people they need to speak to. These are the people, incoming presidents, <laughs> need to speak to. You are the people they need to come and minister. They should come and tell you what their manifesto and agendas are. Should they come or not? Yes. Would they be wise if they come? Yes. 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 <laughs> I want the voice back of you through. Bless you. Amen. Thank God on behalf of your brothers. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we will we would like to say a big thank you to you. It is a blessing to have him as an elder brother. He's a friend when he has to be a friend. He's a mentor when he has to be a mentor. And sometimes he a bully when he has to be a bully. <laughs> but in totality, he's a wonderful person. As a you can't walk with this man and the ordinary. He will push you, he will excite you, he will impact you, he will direct you. Now, now most people don't know. Amen is my younger brother, one mother, one father. I open the door for him. And then after that, we we'll give birth to something. As for Brian, he's our son. So, so by virtue of the Tetris clan, Son is your uncle. <laughs> Somebody say, what are we doing? This is ministry. Yes. This is ministry. Yes. But, but there is something that Dr. Sonny Badu said that caught my attention this evening. And I started examining our spiritual atmosphere. And I realized that when are we going to discover the Dr. Kofiu Droves? When are we going to discover the Dr. Vince Tabels? And when are we going to find the Dr. Lawrence Teches? There is a generation that made a difference. But how do we get these people? And what are the characteristics that defines them? I'll give you three of them. The first thing you should look out for, anyone that speaks the truth, preaches the truth without fear, This is how you examine them, and you will know. You don't need spiritual eye. It's, it's in the natural, as a matter of fact. Because by their doings, you know them. So first thing is tenacity. Sometimes I get concerned at things you say. And I wake up in the morning, you're still alive. <laughs> I don't know whether he's worse than you or you're worse than him. But Dr. Lawrence has been like this from time immemorial. When he started, we thought we were going to assassinate him. We had threats. We had letters been written. We had people come to break bottles in front of the house. We've seen it all. But in every generation, God will raise up a son. And when this son appears, they are different. 
You can't intimidate them. You can't manipulate them. You can't keep them quiet. You can't shut them down. They are loud and very loud. And I know that this gentleman here is one of them. I also know that by the preaching you put tonight, there is also something in the, in the inside that is coming out. Some traded their champions with nothing. Moses made a difference. Joshua made a difference. And the rest, and David. But some sin, some sin disappointed the entire family by flirting with Delilah. And he traded the he, he traded the deliverance of the family with fun and excitement. And by the time he realized the savior of the family has become a mockery, and people were using him for games. Are you listening to me now? Now this is a serious issue now. I'm not a social media person, and I don't even go to the internet. But I'm telling you this, listen carefully. Don't fear your generation. Listen to me carefully. When you begin to preach the truth, they will abuse you. They will talk about you. But I will wish tonight, before I put this microphone down, that in every family, God will raise a giant. And when that giant fails, the family, the family will remain ordinary for another century. God raised him in the family. At the age of 22, he was also already out of the country. He hasn't changed. The same man you see, the man you see today has been like this forever. Took the entire family to Europe and still fighting. In every home, there is always a son or a daughter. And if the son or daughter is focused and understands that the strength that was given to whoever it is in the era of something was strong. And that mantle is not to chase women. That mantle, and I hear you sometimes, is not to be excited. And something underestimated the demons in the family. Am I talking to somebody here? Now, this is a serious issue now. Hold on a second. Turn to your neighbor and say, don't disappoint your family. Hold the person, I'm going to hand over in a second. Hold the person and shake the person. If you can slap the person, slap the person. If you have to call somebody's attention, I'm talking about shaking, what's so no? There are people who are sleeping. You are the hope of your family. You are the voice of your family. You are the testimony of your family. But you have traded all that into foolishness. Hear me very well. I leave the talking that I, you will talk. I stand between the fathers and the sons. After 50 years old, you are no more young. Okay? So I call myself the bridge. So I understand the fathers, understand the sons. We have a problem. Till now, one, two, there are few. There are more of you in the crowd. Where are you? You are here. Where well, I can see you. Because you are what now? You don't say anything about anything. Am I talking to somebody tonight? Don't disappoint your generation. And don't disappoint your family like Samson. I am done. When Samson realized that he has messed up, it was too late. They were using his strength to grant corn. Corn, not yummy, bro. The hope of the family has become a, a, a joke. Why? Because you underestimated the demons of your house. Hello? He conquered an army, but it took a little girl called Delilah. And I said, come here, put your hands on my thighs. Rub his back a little. And the strongest man of the family became like a child. I'm ending today. I believe there is anything you want to take here. Let this stay in your conscience. Let it stay in your conscience. That you are the hope of your family. And when you fail, you have not just failed your family, you have failed the whole generation. I'm done. <laughs> Main parts. For the brain. I don't normally do this.
things. I don't normally pray for people's program as I'm led. I hold my hands. May the spirit that makes the difference be upon you. In Acts chapter, and it's not matter we can minister together. In Acts chapter 10, you're 38. And Sonny, I have a great invitation to the Bahamas. I've decided to go with you and Brian. <laughs> the Prime Minister of Bahamas just loved me, Keke. The man, I didn't know. So Brian, you and Sonny, let's go, let's go and pen. And to the Congo, go oh, here, yes, Sonny. You are going to be hosted by the presidency of Congo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, they are supposed to be coming. So they are arriving tomorrow. My mom and people, they are arriving here, yes, so I'm happy for you. Don't forget when they give you the diamond. Oh, Kyle. Also, for Brian, something interesting happened. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth. Nazareth is an insignificant place. With the Holy Ghost and with He anointed Jesus Christ. None of God, somebody stand behind him. Quickly, somebody stand behind him. With the Holy Ghost and we power. All the trophy, all the trophy. Come, 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 come. With the Holy Ghost and we and you yourself. The Holy Ghost and we power. He anointed him with the Holy Ghost and we power. Where is that power? As you go, is that power? What's up for Where is that power? What went wrong? Brian, I'm hearing your heart. Eben, I'm hearing your heart. Sonny, I'm hearing your Where is that power? What went wrong? Sonny. Brian, why can't we fill this place? There are people who need what you have. Where is that power that draws them? Just my run to me. How? 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 How be anointed in with the Holy Ghost and with power? What's up for power? No one. We have more than a higher heart. We have more than the power for foolishness. I don't Foolishness, we have more than the power. And hear me, you are seated here today, and any stupid demon can enter into your room, and then you have a nightmare. How dare you sleep? Another spirit. Gentlemen, could you make could you make a seven for me? How can you sleep? And another demon come to sleep with you, have sex, make love with you. How can your room become a zoo? Your room has become a zoo. A Christian or Christian me. Your room has become a zoo because you are sleeping, you are sleeping with a snake. In the dream, they are sleeping with a tiger. There are some of you, the demons or the animals you dream about, you've never seen them physically before. Oh God, anointed Jesus of Nazareth, hear me. And we've played church. This whole thing is played church. We show off. We are showing off. We've lost the sanctity of church. We are showing off how big my church is, how this is, how many places I've been to, who are not this is, it's all rubbish. And so you are living in a fool's paradise. And the Christianity you have now is Google Christianity. Google Christianity. The foolishness of what we don't do now is that most of you here, if I ask you to recite the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, you'll be embarrassed. You don't know. You're seated here. You're a Christian, you're a pastor, you're a preacher, you're a leader, you're this, you're that. But if they say from Genesis to Revelation, 
give us the books of the Bible, give the five book of Moses, give us the in fact if they ask you who a minor prophet is and who a major prophet is, you do not know. Put somebody by the shoulder and say the power. Now I know. Yes, I know. No, he knows the future. And life is worth the living just because he lives. Hear me. How God anointed Jesus. Because I said, somebody stand behind me with the Holy Spirit. With the Holy Ghost, with the Holy Ghost, with the Holy Ghost, and with power, and how he went about doing good, healing all who were oppressed with the devil. For God was with him. Question number one is God with you? Is God with you? Not how you dressed, not how many times you speak in tongues. Not that nonsense, hypocritical fasting you are doing. But is God really with you? Is God with you? If God is with you, certain things you are looking for, you don't look for it. No. The Lord is my shepherd. It's the responsibility of the shepherd to know where the shepherd, the, the, the sheep eats. It not be the sheep where they look for girl for himself. The sheep where they look for boy for himself. It be the shepherd where they know say this sheep for cross this uh, this sheep. Because the anointing that makes a difference, you have neglected that. Where is the power? Why are you a powerless Christian? See when we walk with the Lord. In the light of his word, what a glory, glory is all away. What we do is good will. What we do is good will. He abides with the spirit. He abides with the spirit. And with all. And with all who will trust and obey. And when they say trust. There's a difference between Holy Ghost and power. A lot of you seated here today or listening to me across the globe today might have the Holy Ghost, but you have no power. No, no, I don't want to die and go to heaven, but suffer on heaven. If heaven is sweet, this place too much sweet. Hey, do we are marching? Christian, you carry the spirit of God in you, and you don't have power, you are vulnerable. 
we do not wrestle against flesh and blood. Have you not noticed that these days the Christians suffer more than unbelievers? The stupid prostitutes and bad boys and hippies and, and what have you and nonsense, they even get married. When are you a Christian? You struggle to get married because there's an attack over you in the realm of the spirit. What can break it? Is it how will I mind be unto a God? What do you use your WhatsApp for? 
What do you use your platform for? When was the last time you linked somebody with this message? How can you come and stand this place alone? Because you lack power. Power attracts. I said power does what? Oh yeah, yeah, power attracts. Power attracts. I say the president, the former president will come, the vice president will come. You see when they are coming, even the people who are here on campus, who have not seen it before, you see how they can come. Uh, I didn't want to die. Son was crying. There must be a time in your life when you say, I have experienced the power. There yeah, must be a time in your life. There must be a time in your life. You cannot be weak. You cannot be weak, Christian. Hey, hear me. Look at me here. In order for you to even live right, you need that power. It's not by might, it's not by power. In fact, in order for you to live pure and holy, in order for you to live sanctified, like, in order for you to be put in the same room with opposite sex and to be able to control the thing, you need the power of God. the church to you is because people lack power. People are doing everything to gain that power. And they are doing all the wrong things to gain that power. Our God and not the Jesus of Nazareth. So because we need the Holy Ghost and the power. And how he went up to do everywhere he went. He was doing good. I hear that.
not come here to hear me. Hey, how God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hey, and you are standing here today. How many of you know that everybody wants to be anointed? Everybody wants to be anointed. What are you talking about? Every young man here, you wish what Brian is doing, you can do it. You wish what Sonny is doing, you can do it. But I don't know if you know that if you don't have what it takes, you can't do it. But you must have what it takes to be able to do it. It's not the same. It's a, you must have what it takes. And what it takes is the anointing. You let the power of the Holy Ghost fall on me. How did it 
get wrong? Why did you miss it? Why have you become a reproach? Why have you become a scorn? Why have you become a ballad? Oh my God, look, those of you are listening, receive it, receive it, there is it. There is a Let it be yours. Let it be, let it be yours.
próximo da noite de sábado. Just need to connect. That night is free. That night is not for sale. Guys, 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 don't get too excited. That night is free. It's only watch them there. Be in charge. Anointing is free. Don't worry. Sonny has ministered to me around the globe. Only he can pick my key and bring it back to normal. Most people, when I pick this, Sonny can pick my key and bring it. He's a mafia. He can pick my key and make my own key out of it. And most of Sonny's songs were composed in my crucifix. Most people, my, my faith is really gone. I did not trust the sea to spray my body on Jesus. This morning, we were with the former chief justice, and normally you ask of you and I'm at a few. Because you know, I almost have to say. My feet are found. Not in the vice, no green. Not in the vice, no green. I trust the ever living one. I give what you want to me. It's one for me, sir. It's one for me, sir. I need no other argument. I need no Hello everybody, my name is Gianna. Keep watching Hypes Media, hub of quality content.